So yesterday I had a new comment on one of my YouTube videos and it's from Scarlet Bugs and it reads Could you please do a video on how to make a working safe? Like how to create an input for a code to type in while you are playing. Well, of course I can and I think it's also a really good example for you to know how to work with actions and with the screenplays. So let's jump right in. If you are new here, I'm developing RPG Playground and this is a tool to easily create your own role playing games. You don't need any coding, it's really easy to use. You can go to the website and register for free and create games for free. If you're interested in making your own RPGs, definitely subscribe to this channel. Alright, let's get started. So this level is made by Aura and is from the game The Legend of the Three Orbs. So let's open the project panel and we're going to add an invisible actor here. Let's place it here on the drawers. So if you run into it, then it will read like, hey, one of the drawers is locked with a combination lock and you have to unlock it. We close it, let's test it to see if the invisible actor works. Yes, it says hi, but of course that is not what we want. So we select it and then we go to the when touched behavior, we remove some actions and now we first insert an action and let's test something first. So when the hero, let's check a token. So when the hero has a certain token, which is opened the drawer. So if the hero has opened the drawer, then we let the invisible actor say the drawer is already open and empty all right and if the hero doesn't have the opened drawer token then we do our combination lock so first we're gonna let the invisible actor here say something else which is you see uh, you see a drawer that is locked with a combination lock and then the invisible actor is gonna ask something so it gives choices for what to ask give the first number maybe we should do input the first number input the first number all right first number one two three four and five all right so now we have a combination lock with five possibilities for the first number okay we're gonna test it out fast so I'm gonna walk up to it you see a drawer that is locked with a combination lock input the first number and now we have to give the first number so let's just do this three times we're just gonna copy this part and paste it two more times okay and then we change the text a bit here we do the second number and finally the third number but of course we don't know if the hero is inputting the right numbers so that one we also have to handle so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna insert a new action and that is we're gonna give the hero a number so hero number of mm -mm -mm becomes so what is the number of its valid input 
and change to the amount zero because the hero didn't put in any numbers yet. So let's do the combination one, two, three. So first number in case one, we're going to increase this valid input number. So we're gonna insert another action. And this is the hero number of mm -mm -mm, increases. So number of valid input amount to increase one. So this means when the hero selects case one, this valid input number will become one. And this thing we do the same for the other two cases. So the second number, let's pick two here. And for the third one, let's pick three here. An easy to guess number. All right, so now we have a possibility where the user inputs numbers and at the end, if he guesses correctly, this valid input number will become three. So we're gonna check on that one. So we insert another action, the hero number off, but now we're gonna check it. If the number off is equal to, so the number of valid input equals what value if it equals three, what happens then? Well, then actually the hero is able to unlock the safe. So let's tell him that we insert another action, which is we let the invisible actor say you unlocked the drawer and you find something very valuable. All right, and then in the other case, uh, the invisible actor might say something else. So it says, this doesn't seem to be the right combination. All right, one more thing. If we're actually able to open the drawer, then well, we need to set the open to drawer token here so that the next time we bump into it that we know it's already opened. So here we're gonna set the token of the hero, receives a token, opened a drawer. Let's double check if that is spelled correctly and why do I keep selecting the text here? Open to drawer. Yes. So let's go over the script. So if the hero has already opened to the drawer, then the invisible actor will say the drawer is already open and empty. If the hero has not, then it will say you see a drawer that is locked with a combination lock. Then the hero receives a valid input number and it starts at zero. And then three times the number is asked and when you give in the right number then actually this valid input number will increase with one three times so three times is three so at the end of that sequence we check if the hero number of valid input is three which means three times the right number then you unlock the drawer and you find something very valuable and you also receive the opened drawer token. So next time you start it, it will already know you opened it. In the other case, well, then the invisible actor says, this doesn't seem to be the right combination. All right, so now we test it out. We walk close to the drawer and then it will say, you see a drawer that is locked with a combination lock. All right, input the first number, we have no clue, so we pick three. Second number, we pick two. And the third number, we pick four. And then the result is this doesn't seem to be the right combination, which is good, of course. So let's try it a second time. And this time we do know the combination. So we pick one. Second number is two and the third number is three. Well, you unlock the drawer and you find something very valuable. Great, then we walk around again, we walk up to the drawer and it says the drawer is already open and empty. 
So that is how you make a combination lock in your RPG, of course, using RPG Playground. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel here. And if you're new here, you want to learn more about RPG Playground, then check out this playlist. And of course, if you want to start creating right now, then below this video, I have a link in the description that goes to rpgplayground.com. Click on it, register, start creating your own RPG without coding. All right, see you next time. Bye.